Welcome to this podcast on nevoid melanoma. Nevoid melanoma represents a variant of melanoma which is histopathologically easily mistaken for a nevus and it's sometimes a, a retrospective diagnosis made after a benign nevus recurs or metastasizes. The IDS study evaluated uh, nevoid melanoma histopathologically proven and clinical aspect colors and global dermoscopic aspect were considered. In the final study, 27 menevoid melanomas were finally included. There was a slight predominance of male sex. The majority were located on the trunk, followed by upper and lower limbs and head and neck. And nevoid melanoma typically were nodular lesions, followed by plaque and papule. Concerning the distribution of color, the majority of nevoid melanoma were light pigmented, with uh, red lesions in 30% of cases and just two cases with blue color. One of the category of nevoid melanoma is the ones looking like nevus. Before looking at the nevoid melanoma of this category, we should keep in mind how an intradermal common nevus look like. And here you see an example of a typical intradermal nevus that is a banal looking lesion, soft at palpation, pink brown in color but never red, with a long standing history and typically located on the head and neck and upper trunk. And here you see some examples in dermoscopy with uh, nevi ranging in color from light brown to uh, completely melanotic with the hairs and remnant of cobblestone pattern. Here we have three different examples of lesions. Uh, on the, the first case on the left, with this shiny surface and the symmetry in, from the clinical perspective, the second that is flesh colored, and the third with this again shiny surface. But if we look at the dermoscopy, we see that the first case on the left showed a typical vascular pattern, whereas the second is uh, barely uh, showing some vessels that are not scary at all. And in the third case, we have uh, blue dots and uh, translucent areas, so typically find findings of BCC. So dermoscopy helps to tell us that the first is a melanoma, nevoid-like, the, the second is an intradermal nevus, and the third a BCC. And here we have another couple of examples. On the left clinical, we have again a nodule with this shiny surface. And on the right side clinical, we have a lesions with this uh, dark brown brown color, but without any shiny surface. And dermoscopy reveals the first case being with this blue color, and at the base we have structureless areas and a typical network, whereas on the right side we have the typical cobblestone pattern of an intradermal nevus. Furthermore, if we have the possibility to to touch those lesions, we can clearly tell that the first lesion is a um, hard, firm at palpation, whereas the other is soft. And one is nevoid and the other is an intradermal nevus. Another example here with a clinical view of an isolated nodular small lesions that in dermoscopy reveals the presence of a homogeneous color with uh, blue and brown, but the most important clue is located at the base of this nevoid melanoma that reveals streaks, peripheral streaks. The second category of nevoid melanoma is the melanotic tumors in which we have here one example of a very large plaque showing some remnant of pigment, dotted vessels and crystalline structures. And here another more difficult case of nevoid melanoma with these very large in size nodules located on the back of this 70 years old man. And dermoscopy, the only clue is the presence of dotted vessels haphazardly distributed through the tumor. And if we look closer, we see also that there is at the base at uh, uh, five o'clock the presence of a tiny remnant of pigment. Another case of nevoid melanoma that appears as a, a papule on the leg and dermoscopy reveals a typical vascular pattern with vessels ranging from corkscrew to dotted vessels to linear irregular and the presence of asymmetrically located bluish areas. 
And finally, the third type is the multi-component nevoid melanoma with this multi-component pattern that is easily diagnosed under dermoscopy because here we have all the criteria that we know for superficial spreading melanoma. So there is no doubt that this is a melanoma in, in dermoscopy. We cannot distinguish features specific for nevoid melanoma diagnosis. And maybe it's more difficult for pathologists to make the diagnosis of melanoma compared to our um, dermoscopy examination. And to conclude, nevoid melanoma can be with this uh, nevus-like appearance, very difficult, but Combining clinical and dermoscopy together, we are able to catch the beast. And in this case, we have irregular dots and globules, sometimes multiple medial axis, dotted vessels, and the typical vascular pattern. The second type is the melanotic nevoid melanomas, in which the vascular pattern is the predominant pattern that help us to recognize them as a tumors. And the third is the multi-component nevoid melanomas that are easily diagnosed because they reveal the blue-white veil, irregular pigmentation, and other clear-cut diagnostic features. And all the criteria and the aspects uh, can be found in the publication of the International Dermoscopy Society study published on the British Journal of Dermatology a few years ago. And thank you so much for your attention.